Terry. Apple. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. Apple! Good job. Apples. They're grown in Minnesota, and they're part of your school lunch. Okay, let's bring out, bring out the food. Let's try some apple slaw. I'm gonna give you the fork. Yep, like it. Uh, <laughs> oh, it sounds crunchy. <laughs> I hope it's steak. This tastes pretty sweet. Crunchy. Uh, Sorry. An apple. Nice! Is it an apple? Oh. Apple. This is good. I thought it was pretty good. Let's go talk to a farmer. Hi, I'm Aaron. Apples, you like those? Yes, I like apples. Yeah? Especially Honeycrisp. Those are good, huh? Yeah, I have a gerbil and he likes to eat them too. Yeah. The apple skin is kind of like our skin. You see how it's got those little marks in it? So that's where the apple can breathe in and out of the inside of itself. Just kind of like how our skin breathes or sweats, apples can do almost the same thing. That's where it connects to the tree, right? Mm -hmm. Do you know what that end is? That's where the flower or the blossom is in the springtime before this turns into a fruit. It's a little flower. And then bees or some kind of other insect comes and moves pollen from one part of a tree or another tree to this flower and deposits it in the blossom and then it grows into this fruit. Hi, I'm Aaron Peterson and we're out here at our family's apple orchard today. We love growing all crops, but uh, there's something about growing fresh fruit that is really fun. A big part of farming is timing. As fall approaches, we come in and inspect the orchard, and what we look for is uh, the color of the fruit, the firmness of the fruit, and how much fruit is starting to drop. And that all influences when we will come out here and start to pick these apples. So I'm seeing that these fruit, the color is even. I'm not seeing too much yellow on them, so I just, want to kind of see if any are coming off and if you can shake it like that well one came off there but uh, we still have a little bit of time because as the fruit gets more ripe it wants to drop off the tree because of the delicate nature of this fruit the only way that we have to pick these is by hand so we'll come in and use our hands and select the good ones and then we'll resort them back at the farm and then from there they're refrigerated and onto the market. There's quite a bit of uh, hand selection but that really gives the consumer a good quality because there is no mechanical rustling or bruising of the fruit so uh, you end up with a really firm quality that has a good shelf life. I was just thinking I probably shouldn't be talking with my mouth full of apple but you know on the farm you're always moving, got to talk and eat. Look for Minnesota apples in your school lunch this month. What's your favorite way to eat apples? <laughs>